Um, I mean, you're talking about the cockpit module. So, which part of this is uh, is more useful to the ADAS portfolio as well as your level three portfolio? Yeah. So let me just mention once more about the intuitive driving. I talked about the car of tomorrow will be automated, mm -hmm. and I showed you an example of uh, autopilot demo the cruise for you just as an example. We talked about connected car also mm -hmm. will happen, and it's important. But these two cannot happen by themselves and doing... Uh, uh, an efficient and effective automation and connected car. We have to also address the HMI and the cockpit for such an automated connected car. Mm -hmm. This way, we are showing this concept of uh, addressing the uh, level three automation where the, the this cockpit that we call uh, Mobius is addressing that uh, giving control to the car when you want it to go into autopilot and then taking back control if needed. So, so what are the key compon underlying components for this? Uh? So some of the key features in this cockpit, number one, we are putting an instrument cluster that's higher than traditional instrument cluster because we want to ensure that the driver eyes are kind of geared towards the road, mm -hmm. so always having eyes on the road. Mm -hmm. And also with the, uh, this new features of the uh, steering wheel switches are enabling you to interact with the car while your hands are in close proximity to the steering wheel switch, uh, steering wheel. So. So these are one of the features. And also what we're showing as you, let's say you, you are driving in autopilot. If I'm driving in autopilot, that means we need to offer other activities to the driver because they are wanting to do something else than driving. Yeah. So when it's in autopilot mode, we have the ability to do mirroring of a smart device if you bring it to your car and you are bringing some infotainment to your instrument cluster while your eyes are still towards the road, so you're not taking your eyes away if you had to look at the um, at center stack type display. So it's, it's, it's L3 and beyond. Exactly, okay. yes. So, okay, this is also like a market ready product, and uh, when you see this, uh, what is the roadmap for Mobius? So Mobius, as it's uh, geared to level three, we have to address that uh, level. Mm -hmm. It's available technology from our side in terms of the steering switches mm -hmm. and readily available technology. It's a matter of uh, design time by the uh, OEMs and you to see it on the road. Okay. So what what is the next steps for Mobius? Like you were, you were talking about the HMI, intuitive cockpits, and all that. So beyond which, so when it's going to be fully autonomous. So what else is required as an additional part of uh, the automated vehicle, like HMI being an essential part of it? Yeah. So what is, the, what is the future for HMI with, with respect to automated driving? So future of HMI still we have to focus on safety. Mm -hmm. So we need to ensure that that safety is in there. And being able to know that your car is driving in a safe manner, maybe receiving some HMI information when the sensors are working properly and being protected, giving you 360 view and protection. Mm -hmm. But also we start uh, addressing the, let's say, the infotainment or some, some, some of these added value features to the driver. So we can think infotainment, maybe going on the internet, maybe texting or talking while you are in autopilot mode. Okay. So, okay. okay, that was a great recap. Thanks, uh, thanks once again. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.